Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Blue and I have just witnessed Ipswich Town 2, Blackburn Rovers 2 in the first game of the Paul Hurst era. And it's pretty exciting actually. Um, he surprised me a little bit with the team. I'd kind of been waffling on the whole time about it's going to be 4-2-3-1 and it really wasn't. So Ipswich line up with Bielkowski in goal, Spencer right back, Donassian and Chambers centre back, Donassian making his debut, Nudson left back. Now, this shaped up more like a 4 3 3. So, Chalibur, first I've seen of him, sits in front of the two centre backs and skews and downs, then play in front of him. Um, very surprised when I, when I heard that team because it did seem to be three defensive midfielders with no playmaker in there but if the creativity is wide then so be it and the wide players were Edwards on the right uh, that's his really his, his league debut his full Ipswich debut Sears on the left and again another debut Harrison up front Blackburn basically with a 4-4-1-1 Raya in goal Nyambe Lenium Mulgrew and Williams across the back Samuel Smallwood Evans Bennett across the midfield with Dak floating around in behind Danny Graham. So, like I say, bit of a surprise with the lineup. Be interested to know people's thoughts on the balance of that midfield. Certainly a lot to think about for Hurst. But honest to God, the first action of the Paul Hurst era was a goal after four minutes. First chance of the game. Um, amazing start. If we go 1 0 up straight away, um, Downs picks it up in midfield. Little drive forward by him. Over to the left for Sears. He puts in the cross. It's a deep cross um, to the back post. And I guess this is the idea of the wide players get in the box when um, your other wide player's got the ball. So it doesn't go to Harrison. It goes all the way to the back to Guion Edwards. Basically his first touch of the ball, I think. Looping header over Raya in the goal. And it's 1-0. So... Um, Encouraging, we've heard about the press and we've heard about the wide guys. We see Ipswich pick up the ball in midfield, downs drive forward, one winger crosses it, the other one's in the box at the back post, looping header, 1 0. Great start for Edwards, great start for Sears. So Sears with an assist straight away, Edwards with a goal. You want end product from your wide guys, and they gave it to us straight away. Um, now, I did not spot this. Um, the lady slumped in the seat next to me spotted it. Um, but Spence clashes with Bennett. And it looks like Spence, this is about sort of 10 minutes in, Spence clashes with Bennett. And it looks like Spence has come off better and Bennett's winded. But we probably find out in about 15 minutes' time that um, Spence possibly concussed himself in um, in this coming together. He plays on and he looks fine, but he's going to go off 15 minutes after. Um, and very annoyingly, it should give up the lead on 19 minutes. So Chalibur with a foul on Samuel. Samuel draws the foul. It's a free kick to Blackburn over to the left-hand side, midway into the half. Smallwood steps up. It's well worked. He floats it over to the back post. Um, the first header is one, and honestly, it's a bit of a mess from then on. So the header across goes into the near post. It's flicked, I think, by Dak on the near post. And much love to you, Bart, but I don't think Bielkowski covers himself in glory here. So he makes the first save. The ball drops down and he does react quickly, but unfortunately he does the wrong thing. So he dives forward, he pours it straight against Donassian. And, OK, I've watched the replay, I've watched it in slow motion. It looked like it could have been cleared at that point. Um, so he pours it, it hits Danassi and bounces off him. Then it falls straight to Danny Graham, who swivels. He only needs a kind of scuffy contact on it. In it goes, into the corner. A bit of a mess, the whole thing. I don't know if you can have a word with Chalibur about losing the guy on the back post the first time. But well work free kick. Um, obviously... Bielkowski has earned many, many passes for his brilliant form for Ipswich over the past three seasons. I just felt 
he did neither one thing nor the other. And what he did do by pouring it at Donacion, he took Donacion out of the game. If, if if there was any chance of him clearing it, it was um, it was taken away from him there, poured, bounced off him, and then what are you going to do? But we love Bielkowski, and um, it is what it is. So 1-1. One, one. Um, Harrison chases behind. Poor clearance from Rea goes out to Edwards. Rea leaves the goal empty. Edwards takes a touch. Everyone cries, shoot, he didn't look very comfortable and um, not a great shot. Smacks the defender in the face, don't think it was going on target. We get up to about 25 minutes and now Blackburn are on top. They've kind of settled in. They, they're quite relaxed after going a goal down. They didn't, they didn't panic and they're on top. And on 28, they go 2-1 into the lead. So they flip the score from 1-0 down to 2-1 up within um, sort of... Uh, 10 minutes, two goals within 10 minutes. Um, are we going to give Spence the Loris Carius you were concussed, you didn't know what you were doing pass? So Graham does really well, actually. He holds it up, and um, what happens here is he completely wrong foots the whole defence. So as he um, chests it down and plays it behind him, all the Ipswich players are moving in the wrong direction. He plays it into the gap behind. And the only one who's moving forwards is uh, the left-back, Williams. So they're all wrong-footed. He scurries in behind the back four. He's got loads of time. He takes one touch. I think he takes a second touch. Composes himself. Looks up. They're flooding into the box. And it's one of those ones where you're defending, you're facing the wrong way. You're a forward. You've just got to get into position. Uh, Williams smashes it across the box and Dak all he has to do is make contact he puts it in and it is 2-1 to Blackburn which kind of completely punctures the atmosphere um, six minutes after that goal why we mentioned the Spence thing could be wrong about this but um, Wolfenden is uh, prepared and the physio is doing this you know how many fingers am I holding up follow my so they're clearly measuring his um eye movement so I'd be I'd be interested to know what happened to Spence but um, he goes off on 36 minutes and Luke Wolfenden comes in and I'm very interested in the comments to know what people think whether um, Wolfenden might now actually be strongest place to be be a starter it'll be interesting to see once the waghorn stuff is is done whether a centre half comes in but certainly there's quite a big cry for Wolfenden from a lot of Ipswich fans. By the way, I missed out uh, Harrison late tackle on Williams to get a yellow card on 34. Um, 45 minutes, Ipswich advanced down the left in swing and cross. Skews arrives, he kind of wins the header but glances it weakly. Why so interesting first half, three goals and a, a substitution. Uh, very much looked like a team who knew what they were drilled to do and who were well practiced in Blackburn and a team who, um, not. I'm not saying the players don't know what they're doing as in they're inept but they didn't seem to be yet used to what they were being asked. And I think that little slight nuance in the system of 4-1, then sort of two in front, and the wide players is virtually 4-3-3. And that was slightly different than what we've seen during the pre-season. Um, Skews looked a bit uncomfortable in the first half. Chalibur looked, um, looked like an excellent player. He's got good feet and he's a real strong guy. And, you know, you can see the attraction there. Downs struggled a bit, obviously... Sears gets an assist, Edwards gets a goal, so there's some output from them. Harrison looked a little bit isolated up front, but um, well done to Blackburn for um, kind of playing into that. And Dak and Graham are they're dangerous guys up front. Into the second half, um, Dak slides into the box, um, oh, sorry, slides into the box, um, down right on the goal line actually. Down he goes, no penalty. Nudson not very happy with him. Uh, Bennett takes a yellow on Chalibur. Um, kind of go up to the hour mark and Blackburn they're not sitting in as such but they're saying look okay pass through us we're going to go solid four and four get through us and um, I would say they look fairly comfortable two one up um, nice to see Hurst making the change on 60 minutes a lot of complaints last season I know we want to move on from last season but we appear to have a manager who um, has gone for it there on this substitution 60 minutes Teo Eden on loan from Fulham. He comes in. And now we do go to the 4-2-3-1. So Skews moves alongside Chalibur, which probably suits Skews better than it suits Chalibur. Chalibur looked um, very comfortable on his own there. Um, 
and it's three behind Harrison Edwards to the right. Sears in the 10 position and Eden on the left. Uh, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing his name. Eden, Aiden, I'm sure we'll, we'll find out. Um, Mowbray immediately matches up. He's not stupid. He brings Palmer in for uh, Samuel. So you then get a line of Bennett, Dak and Palmer behind Graham with Evans and Smallwood. Um, so um, smart management really from Mowbray. And then Nuttall comes out from... Graham, I will say about Graham, if he plays 46 games, he'll score, just on poacher terms, in this league, he'll score 15 goals at least. He's, you know, he's, he's wily. Um, I, th- I think um, useful player there. Um, big muddle at the back on 67. Wolford and ends up out of position. Quick throw. Uh, hand ball shout. I think he gets smashed at Danassian. Bounces out um, to Evans and he didn't look comfortable. Smashes the shot. Over. Um, this was a bit of a hairy moment on 71. Uh, Bennett gets played in down the side. Um, I think Mowbray noticed um, this uh, Ipswich fullback position. There was a lot of balls slid down the side, and I think we're going to see that from managers a lot. They're going to notice the Ipswich fullback's position, especially when they're chasing. And a ball slid down the side did look quite dangerous against a Paul Hurst back four. So Chambers is in the foot race. Uh, Bennett gets there first. It looks like Chambers gets a bit of ball and a bit of man, a lot of ball, a lot of man. The ball does change direction, but referee deems it a foul and a yellow card. So Chambers getting away with one there, maybe. Uh, McGrew, pull free kick, he curls it over. On 77, Blackburn should win the game here. On 77, should have been 3-1. So Dak goes into the box. He's a good player, Dak. Um, From the right, uh, it's a good block initially. He crosses it, a good block at the back post by... Danassian, but then he tries to tries to heroically kind of slide in and clear it, and he actually gives away another chance. Forgive me if I've got this wrong. I think it was Palmer shoots and Bialkowski for the first time this season. Will I'll say it at least I reckon thirty times. Good save by Bialkowski. He saves Ipswich, and the ball gets cleared. But well done to um, Danassian for the for the first block. Um, certainly reacted well. Uh, ben Morris comes in for Freddie Sears and sits in the ten position. Um, Hurst does seem to like these these mobile pacey players. And Morris gets slid in down the right. He crosses low. Harrison blocked out. Um, 81 minutes. Great block tackle by Guion Edwards. Uh, Morris moves forward and he's really direct. I really like this. Remember when Hurst arrived, he said he wanted wide players to take people on and either make a cross or have a shot on goal. This is exactly what Morris does. He really commits his defender, cuts in, um, gets in on the left foot. This is really good goalkeeping by Raya. He um, as he uh, takes on his man, uh, comes out, narrows the angle, sticks out a big foot and makes the save. A uh, bit of a muddle from the corner. Harrison hooks it back over. Wolford and the Chambers both going for it, but then they're pretty well marked. A lot of bodies in there and Wolford and heads over. Conway comes in for Dak, so uh, the main danger man off there. Mowbray trying to shore it up, I guess. Um, and my favourite moment of the of the game, we haven't seen this for ages. So on the right-hand side, Edwards receives the ball, it bounces up, he turns, flips it with his right foot over the defender's head, and at this point I go into I go into this mode because I'm so excited. So he gets it, he accelerates away, runs up to defender, does the manoeuvre where, I don't know what you call it, someone smartened me up, he back heels it and steps over with his other foot, goes inside, sets himself for the shot, hits it to the near post, another good save. Absolutely brilliant run. Um, everybody off their seats, um, very excited for um, any bit of play like that. Superb run by um, Edwards, really, really um, entertaining moment. Um, Lenihan gets a yellow for kicking the ball away. Blackburn starting to try and uh, Voldemort it out and dark arts and wasting time, which you know they're kind of entitled to do. Smallwood takes a yellow for a tackle on Chalaba. The four minutes goes up, and on sort of 90 minutes and 30 seconds, Ipswich get a bit of a lucky equaliser. Um, I won't be a hypocrite, I said Derby were lucky last night. Ipswich were a bit lucky at the end here. The first free kick goes in. This is one of these fortuitous things because Chambers tried to take it once and the referee stopped him and then he gets another go and um, uh, I think they were a bit better set the second time. Um, The ball gets cleared. Um, It goes to Edwards who is going to get the assist for this. He plays it to Teo Eden. Um, He takes a touch and come on, this is a cross. So he crosses it in through the crowd. It's in swinger to the far post. Why do we know it was to the far post? Because it goes all the way through. 
bounces. The keeper can't react quickly enough. It hits the post and goes in. I think it was a cross. Um, bit of a lucky goal, but we will take that on Paul Hurst's first um, day in the league as manager. And it is a 2-2 draw, so lots to um, come away with. Um, let's deal with Blackburn first. They are a very settled team. They look well drilled. We know they have an intelligent manager. I love how at 1-0 down after five minutes, completely relaxed, um, kick-off, let's reset, 85 minutes to go, um, very calm, uh, took their goals well, capitalised on Ipswich's indecision. And I guess if you keep Dak and Graham fit all season, I think there's goals there, and they look very solid. You can see how they did well um, in the in the division below so and probably find themselves a bit unlucky given the nature of the goal although I will say they did in the second half line up and say you score against us uh, although they could have gone 3-1 up after um, after 70 so Blackburn were a bit unlucky let's 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 just let's just say that um, in terms of Ipswich this was um, far far away from probably what Hurst wants they weren't bad they were just a little bit unsure um, now you're in a real competitive game against a championship team. Um, Bielkowski, not so great for the first goal. Couldn't do anything for the second and good save at the end. Standard from him. Uh, Spence was getting the ire of quite a lot of Ipswich fans. I, I think now Danassian in uh, Wolfenden seems to be seizing his chance every time he gets it. Uh, possibly a new centre-back once the Waghorn thing's done. Mm, be interesting in your comments about, about Spence. He seems to possibly be the full guy. Uh, Chambers fine as usual. Knudsen was good. Knudsen seems to be half an inch taller after the after the World Cup. He looks very assured and I think he now feels I'm a World Cup player. Um and I, I hope he I hope he continues in that vein. Um just depends. If Waghorn's sold, do they need to sell Knudsen as well? Um who knows? Uh Chalibur's a good player. Um I think he's he looked very comfortable sitting in front of the back four on his own. Um, but the knock-on for that is, what? where does that leave Skews? Because Skews didn't look too effective. Um, Skews in a 4-2-3-1 is good as the main guy there. But maybe there's a job for him because out of those three, no one took the range, Skews, Downs and Chalaba as sort of playmaker in there um, and I know there's Andre Dazel sitting on the bench I know there's Ted Bishop to come and I know there's Emir Hughes to come so there's definitely a position up for grabs there don't know who's going to take it I'd say Chalaba was good Skews was okay and Downs wasn't great I would um, suggest I've seen them all play better but I think they're all vying for the same role and all would rather be in that anchoring position um Sears got an assist, um, does his running, still gets grief from a lot of Ipswich fans, but Hurst is going to like Sears. He's pacey and he works hard and he's got tactical discipline. Um, the previous manager loved him for that, so um, don't expect to see Sears going anywhere, even when Grant even when Grant Wall comes back. That might be interesting. Um, Harrison was isolated up front, so really the standout player was Guion Edwards. He got the goal to begin with. A um, couple of good runs, sublime in the second half for that run, and you know, sideways pass, but got the assist. So he's got a goal and an assist on his on his debut. And the numbers don't lie, as we always say. Very, very interested to know how you think this is going to pan out. Obviously, the big elephant in the room is Waghorn. He wasn't there. Um, I think they're getting close to making the sale now. And we're then going to see next week, does Nolan come in from Shrewsbury? Does Insiala come in from Shrewsbury? Does Tilt? come in they've looked at Jordan Graham on the wings there's still a lot to happen so I can't draw any conclusions today other than to say I'm very pleased with the point um Edwards looks good Shalaba looks good and other than that there's a lot of sorting out to do let me know what you think in the comments if we can make a judgment try um although the squad's going to look very different by the time we get to Rotherham next week um if you're a Blackburn fan um let me know your expectations for the season and um you're probably a little bit hard done by today uh thumbs up so I've gone a bit long we're going towards 20 minutes now uh thumbs up uh subscribe comment do da do other opinions are welcome follow me on twitter at Benjamin Bloom and I will not be at Rotherham um next week I'll be in the south of France on a sunbed but I think we're doing uh, Forest on Tuesday night and we'll definitely be back 
uh, for Villa the following week. So thank you for watching. See you soon.